Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to internally bounce your mix within your Pro Tools 8 session. And don't forget, you can always get in contact with me for any questions, comments, or ideas, justin at wingsound.com. So let's say you got a lot of tracks going on, a big session, big mix, and you want to internally bounce it instead of bouncing to this. Maybe you want to make a stem of something or, you know, whatever it is. This would be to internally bounce these tracks. So what you want to do is create a new aux track and a new audio track. Shift Command N for new tracks. And then you want a stereo audio track as well as a stereo aux track. As you can see here. So hit create. So for the audio, I'm just going to name it bounced audio. And then for the aux, I'm going to use bounced aux. Okay, so what you want to do is with that aux, with that aux track, you want to choose the input of that aux track to a bus that you're not using. So in this case, I'm going to choose bus 1, 2. And what you want to do is on the tracks that you want to bounce, click on one, highlight one, then hold down shift and then click the last to highlight them all. And you want to change the outputs of all these tracks to that corresponding box bus of that aux that you've created. So to do to the selected is shift option. Click on your outputs, choose that corresponding bus, bus one, two. And as you can see, it changed the output for, for just the selected ones to bus one, two. Okay, so now they're all going through that aux. Then what you want to do is, you know, do your little processing, your compression or whatever it is. So I'll just do this. So I put a isotope compressor on it. And then what you want to do is on that audio track, you want to choose another bus for the input that you're not using. So the input would be bus three, four. And then on that aux, you want to change the output of that aux to that corresponding bus that you just made the input of your audio track. So three and four. Okay. So now all your tracks are getting sent into that aux, then out of that aux into the input of the new audio track that you've created. And then what you're going to do is arm that audio track for recording. As you can see there. Hit record and then start recording. Are young, nimble soldiers? Okay, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but you get the idea, you know, and then see the reason why I'm doing it through an aux is because if you don't and you just put it through that new audio track you've created so let me just do that so the input would be bus one two now you'll see that audio track will clip see it's clipping and then even if i put the compressor on it the limiter so I'll do that again. And you'll see it still clips. So that's why I used the aux track because I could do my processing on it. And then when I put it, make the output, the input of that audio track, it won't clip, you know, and you won't get any distortion and, you know, from that clipping. You can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at wingsound.com.